Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, lore video. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this now is because I just agree we made some agreements with our artists and other various people who are part of the team and we're just kind of working out the cost of production. Now, the lore video that is currently available on the channel is this one right here, Battletech Lore of Surma. This, I have to refresh the page, it's actually doing a lot better than I thought at a midnight release of all things, huh? But, um, so... This is only the, this is just the early access video, and uh, I put that together pretty quickly. But um, this is a new piece that is going to be in that video. In fact, I think it'll be the thumbnail. This here is James McKenna. This is the Bickering Bunches rendition of him, uh, provided by Sala. Now we have I have run up the total cost of production for a single lore video. It's about approximately two hundred United States dollars. Now that's actually not that bad, all things considered, because on our patron. We're about generating about $102, you know, a month. Now, granted, Patreon takes, like, a good portion of that, and the government takes another portion, and the state takes their share. So, you know, that's about 40% drop there. But um, we also make it about, I think we have five members on the YouTube join thing, which I don't blame. A lot of them had switched over to use the Patreon because there's a lot more rewards, uh, options, and various customizations. YouTube, you're kind of dropping the ball there, buddy. Also, YouTube takes, I, I believe, a higher percentage and then the government and the state all, or the Fed and the state, like to take their cut too. So, we are operating at a deficit in that regard. But we're actually not. Because here's the kicker. The videos that generate just regular revenue has actually gone up. As well as the um, streams, you guys normally donate quite a bit. And that's very appreciative. I only need to at least generate, you know, about $300-ish. I probably should be generating about $400, including state and Fed, just to have that extra leeway. And we might be actually somewhere in a profit there um, instead of operating a deficit. But we're going to continue with these lower things. There's going to be about three of these images per video. That's kind of what we came down to. Three custom art assets, and we're re-envisioning the entire Battletech universe. Remastering it, bringing it back to life, reviving it from the graves of the 1980s fucking decrepity that it suffers in. Including remastering, you know, the character designs and every everything else. So, it's all technically unofficial and not canon. I wouldn't expect to be endorsed by them. I don't blame them. But, um, the entire idea is that we're going to bring Battletech back from the dead in our sort of unique way. Now... The donations are grand. The donations aren't purely for this. This is also just for the channel. These just so happen that some money that I, you know, choose to put into the lower video. So technically the donations, technically speaking, just go towards me. And then from there I determine where it goes. And the idea is that that is sort of a legal thing that we can sort of use, you know, because you've, you've all heard the Star Wars situations, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But yes, so this is James McKenna. Uh, we're going to have a couple more pieces, and then I'll begin re-editing and redoing the video. Now, we're doing Adobe After Effects for the special effects, and we're editing it in Adobe Premiere, so yes, you're paying for that. Subscription monthly basis, too. Oh, it, is, it has gone up drastically in expenses, but that is okay, because we're technically not operating a deficit. Thanks to the streams. We'll have to do more streams, and we'll have to push to make at least 400 a month to make sure we don't operate at a deficit. As long as we do that, honestly, we can just do them forever. That's all we need. Um, and even if we generate more, first things first is I want to talk to future plans. If we generate more revenue than $400, will we continue to expand it the art uh, for the lower and stuff like that? Yes. Yes, we would to a degree. We would only do it to a degree in which we can still assure that the lore is done at least once a month. That's the goal now. One video per month because that money I want to spend... On producing these things and so that's one per month that does not include expenses for thumbnails technically a deficit but that's okay as long as the lower videos are able to quote unquote survive that's the main stay of the channel anyways and this will include when we eventually branch out from Battletech to other universes which we will because there's only so much lore in Battletech which is a fucking fuck ton but I kind of want to cover more than just that I'd be interested in Dune things like Star Wars things like more like the old Republic old e old universe stuff and Warhammer 40k, you know, the older stuff, the good stuff. Warhammer Fantasy, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff! Maybe even some Tolkien stuff, if I can get Bubbles to not fucking lynch me, if I do. Because Bubbles is a... He's a Tolkien nut job. He's a, he's a lower alert nerd. Other way, though. I just wanted to give you guys this heads up, because this is actually relatively good news. I was actually fearing that this would actually be a limited time thing. 
As it stands now, it's actually not. We can keep continuing to produce these videos thanks to you guys. And that's what I'm here to tell you, is thank you all for your support. Even if you don't donate, you simply being here is already enough. That kind of support doesn't only just show support for just myself, it shows support to the rest of our team. Bubbles, Fairman, Hands, and our artist, fantastic artists, uh, Sala and uh, Cashew. Great guys. Or, I almost, fuck, Cabby. Cabby too. God damn it. Cabby's the one who works on all the thumbnails. Fucking A. I'm bad with names, though. Anyone who joins the Discord server, link in the description. Feel free to join. It's a great community. Um, run by our fantastic mod team. But, uh, yeah, besides that, I think that kind of wraps up this video. That's all I really wanted to say. And everything is going really well, actually. In fact, it's going even better. <laughs> I was a little bit worried, to be honest with you guys. And a little bit like, oh, this video is going to be great. But, like, can I keep producing them? And the answer is yes. Thanks to you guys. Great job, guys. Until next time, you have yourself a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.